That's why they walk. They need to be thrown in top of They're broken on the ground. Make a motion for this. Uh, it's with uh, Robert Hartman, and uh, we've got one for $1,600 and one for $1,000. So $2,600 right there, those two will be I'll second that. Uh, okay. Okay. And uh, before we ask the meeting, I just wanted to real quick so we touch base on it because we're trying to move through. Any thoughts on the public part of the presentation? Just so everybody knows, um, this was brought to us a couple months ago. It was before the Ebola outbreak, actually. They had approached us, so it wasn't because of that. They had already approached us on this. And when um, Wanda and I took a look at it, we said, you know what, that might not be a bad idea. Let's see what it's about. And then this whole other thing came, but not that it, you know, it, it's in, it would benefit us because obviously there's nothing with Ebola that could be done at this point. What we were looking at is, as uh, the gentleman said, is this would be strictly for our community. Uh, there would be a registration process, et cetera. It would be administered by doctors or nurses within our own community. So I don't see it's a bad thing. I think it would be a good thing for the community in the event of having to spend some type of antibiotics. So, and that was why this was brought up. We probably get a faster than the other one. Well, that's the reason. That's the reason. So anyway, it just didn't seem like, as long as we had it, we have to have volunteers from the community I'll make a motion. that work. Okay, can I second? All in favor? Are you making it for the day before Thanksgiving? No, 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 Excuse me. 
saying. You, did you want to be interrupted? Okay. Oh, don't interrupt me. First of all, if you get a screen, you're going to have to leave. That's the one. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. You raise yours at us when we interrupt it. Allow the homeowners for three minutes, and then we will call them after. Okay? okay? All right, listen, but let him finish his three minutes. And yeah, but why don't you explain to them that people in the audience are a kid? Stop. Stop. You're not going to threaten him. I just said, Oh, no, because he's in your pocket. Just, no. Oh, who's in the pocket? All right, all right, we're not going to. This, I know, this I just wanted you to say your can't. comments, but let's not exchange the well, there. I, know. I just asked not to be interrupted. But I apparently understand. that's that's not a two-way street no, here. No, go ahead and finish what you wanted to say, and then if there's a question, we'll you know, we'll answer Oh, there's no question. It's pretty much a statement that you've slapped your committee in the face, and I'm highly offended by it, and I will let you know now I'm going to do everything in my power to have you removed, the both of you. And I'm also going to call for an investigation for you openly admitting a violation of Sunshine Law. Exactly. And voting on it still. And still, yeah, exactly, and still proceeding with the vote because I do know that much, sir. My turn. No, can I go? First? Yes, you can go. Um, uh, my name is Dan Thomas. I'm an attorney. I live in, in uh, Greenwood Manor, and uh, I've never been to a meeting like this before. I've never seen anything like this. Um, <laughs> well, let me just tell you, I mean, the reason I asked the question I asked is because I wanted to make sure that I knew what the motion was, and I wanted to make sure that the basis of the motion was a discussion outside of the sunshine between board members, which creates the fact that the motion is void at initio. okay? The documents that we have, 720, section, uh, chapter 720, clearly says that these types of meetings need to be in the open. It's clear to me that there's a lot of things that aren't happening in the open here. And the bottom line is, is that you're not allowed to grant him a six month extension. If you violated the sunshine and you voted on it, if you don't, if you don't listen to what I'm saying in here and you go your own way, I'm gonna end up filing a lawsuit and joining this board from granting that extension because it's not allowed, it's, it's void of initio, and also you're gonna be paying my attorney's fees under the statute for doing that. That's not right, and you need to look at these things and analyze them. And I'm just telling you right now, I don't ever do this. I've got better things to do. I got a 13 month at home, you know. I don't need to come here and waste my time with this, and neither do these people. But this kind of stuff that's happening is making me mad, and it's making me want to run for the board, and it's going to make me want to recall everybody that's on the board that's not following the rules. You can vote, you can have your opinion. I have my opinion, you have yours. But the bottom line is you've got to follow the rules. And if we're not following the rules, that motion is a void motion. And the only way to correct it is to call another meeting, properly notice, give everybody in this community notice to talk about it, and then we're going to find out who's voting, and we're going to find out what's said, and everything's going to be done in the open. That's what the document said. I hate lecturing like this, but I'm tired of it. I see the emails going. I see the YouTube. Look, I don't agree with everything that's on YouTube. I don't agree with everything that's in the emails. We all have lives to lead, okay? But I do have a problem. When I look at my yard, it looks like crap. My, my entrance looks like crap, and I drive down the road to Wellington View, uh, Buena Vida, God forbid we comp get compared to Buena Vida, that looks beautiful. I mean, the people that are doing those things, we need to be talking to those people and finding out whether they want to do our work. We have a huge surplus, we're overcharging our people, and we've got to do something about it because our values are not rising like Wellington View and all these other places. And I think it's terrible. I think you've done a great job fixing the weir issue, the, 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 fl the flooding. Get after FEMA. I agree with it. I think they're wrong. I agree with a lot of what's happened here tonight. But this landscaping thing is the end of it. And I'm going to do something about it. So I've said my piece. I'm getting out of here. Now, what do you need to consult your counsel to answer the question?
question. That may be the wise thing to do. All I'm saying is that before any action is taken with respect to that extension, that question needs to be answered. Thank you. Thank you. Can I say something a little bit? Yeah. All right. Joe, would you mind if I just stick? Go ahead. I live down the street from him. I've lived in Bridgeport since 2008. This is my first HOA meeting. I've dialed these other problems I've had with my lawn. And I would have to say exactly what you just said. We're getting to the point there are local people in my neighborhood where we're just going to sue everybody because we're at that point. And people laugh. And you say, well, you know, guess what? I'm very smart and I have a shitload of money. So at the end of the day, your director's insurance policy will not cover you for over acts. You just admitted on tape that you spoke against the law. Your director's insurance policy will not cover you for an overt act. Okay? So when we sue you, we will ask for sanctions to be brought against you, which means, like he said, you will pay our attorney fees. Okay? And we will also ask that you be investigated for potential fraud, potential uh, violations against the RICO Act, because if there's an organized uh, group of people that are trying to defraud the HOA and siphon money out of it for your friends, that's a criminal act. Okay, so. Well, listen, I'll, I just want to explain. Oh, well, no, no. Let, let me explain. Okay, I thought you were going to Because you represent the residents of this neighborhood. You do not represent yourself. You do not represent your friends. Okay? When the residents say that they're unhappy, they're not just saying that because they have nothing else to do. Okay? I'd rather be at home right now with my wife than with, with my pets. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't want to come over here. Okay? I've come over to this side of the neighborhood, I think, three times since I was here. Once was to get an ID card, uh, once was to do something else, but then it's nine. Okay? Up until now, you've seen videos on YouTube, you've seen people saying, you know what, you know, it looks like crap. Now you're getting people like myself and Dan who are going to come over here, and you will get sued. It's not worth it. Who are you going to sue? Well, listen, all I've talked about. You can sue each member of the HOA individually. You are not protected if you are doing criminal acts, if you are overtly not following the rules. Well, listen, yeah, first, right. first of all, the, the only discussion that was had, I was told by one of the other board members that he came into the office and asked about the work orders and the things that were being said at the, at the landscape meeting, and he said that those, there was work orders that were not disclosed at the, at, or, I mean, okay. uh, bids that were not disclosed at the landscape meeting. That was it. That was, that was the total of the discussion. That why, are, why are we getting fines from Palm Beach County because our neighborhood is not properly maintained? And that's what I was trying to get to the bottom of before we make a decision. It, it, it's not Christine's fault to maintain the yard. It's not Don's fault. It's not your fault. It's the maintenance fault. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Getting, if we're getting fines, it's because of him. It's not because right, of But that's the, point, that's the point. I was trying to get to the bottom whether there is a breakdown between the management and the board and the landscape. Have you ever had an authority to be Of course. Okay, have you ever fired them because they didn't do their job? Of course. Okay, why aren't you firing an employee? That's all I have to ask. And all I can like say is because I wanted to have somebody that was small that we could try to work with to get the problem. We've been doing it for three years. All right, then right. listen. If you guys want to listen, if you guys want to re redo it, we can re vote it right now. You know? That'd be a smart thing to do. Can I just can I just say wait? I'm, I'm not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You guys want to revote? Let's revote and pop me power in. I mean, and then we have a great company here that's got two contracts, and we're hopefully we will be here in six months having the same conversation. Well, yeah. well we're going to have the same conversation we're having in six months. Don't no, it's a 30, I'm telling you. It's a, it's no, a, absolutely not. We'll give the, we won't give the guy a chance. I want to give the guy a chance if to try to step up to the plate. Let's reopen this. Let's reopen this. Yeah, so I'm going to reopen it. And we're going to reopen the motion. Okay. I'm motioning for Palm Beach Broward. You have to open the meeting again. You're already in the meeting. 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 You're already in the
that way, it's noticed again, and it's back on the agenda for next time. Instead of doing another meeting in this week. We could. We could. We could keep all of the emergency and have to know you have to put another way this out. Well, listen, we'll, we'll bend everybody, when the people in this room, because I, what I was trying to say earlier, but you didn't know, listen, just so you understand, just so you understand, last month, over 100, we had 100 people bring in things saying that they wanted Raphael. So we, there's, the people that are involved in these, just so you everybody knows, there's, 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 75, there's 75 people involved in 600 homes. I wish we had more people involved that actually would speak up, because there's a lot of people that wanted the back gate, right? That got voted down. Yeah, where are those people right now? That's what I'm trying to say. But the, yeah. the, we're making the decisions. We're making the decisions for everybody based on a handful. Okay. First of all, I want to say I'm incredibly disappointed that we tried to get some Girl Scout troops in here and the board failed to respond. That's my number one bitch. That's my number one bitch. Number two, if if you know, we begged as a community to ask for surveys. We submitted the survey. That's it. You don't have somebody come in after the fact and submit more. You had a survey, you opened it up, you got the results, that's how we feel. For you to make a personal decision on how you feel and reject the community that actually did vote, that's disgusting. That is totally disregarding. It doesn't matter how many it was. 80 votes is not a majority out of 600. It doesn't votes. matter. That's how many voted. That's the huge point. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, everybody, hold on. Chaos. I said my piece. Chaos, let me just say that the board did men, we did discuss the Girl Scout thing, and we said that it would be open for those that live in the community. I never, well, okay, just to be very clear here so that it never happens again. We had the Girl Scout organization wanting to come in here, do a roundup for our kids. Okay, I never heard back. I never heard back. And there, you know, and, and as far as I'm concerned, our kids lost out because of that. And that's all. I, I, ne I never got an email. That's too bad. Okay, explain to me. This is, hey guys, one meeting. Hey, shut up and get out. My turn now. Explain to me what I'm allowed to discuss. I have specific issues. Mm -hmm. Can I discuss that during yeah. this period? Okay. Yes, yes. I moved in here two years ago. Then my neighbor has two German Shepherds. I have put up with barking. You live in my neighborhood. You're on the other side. Me? Yes. Waterford Court, right? You're my new neighbor. Do you not hear those German Shepherds bark all the time? She now rents a house to multiple people. It's a single family home. I don't really give a shit about that, but every day now she leaves those dogs out. And I, I have proof of all the non-compliance things. Two dogs cannot exceed 150 pounds. You cannot leave your dogs out for more than an hour at a time. I can walk in my backyard any time of the day and them damn dogs come out and bark. When I first moved in, her fence, those dogs would squeeze through the fence. They actually attacked my dog one time. They attacked my neighbor twice. The one child was bitten. I saved her dog from being killed. The, the Palm Beach County thing. I have pictures, which I want to give the board, of her fence. It's non-compliant. It has three levels of fencing. It has large, you've been there, you know. It's got large fencing, it's got other fencing. It's a runoff house? And then, you, you, you're the roofer. The, the dog shit on the pool deck. Have you seen the shit on the pool deck? Yeah, she the leaves house, there. It's, it's awful. She has, I, and I don't care, really. I don't care about that. That's not my problem. My bitch is that she's not in compliance with her dogs. If you guys live next to her being board members, you would never put up with this. My wife, so I wasn't going to come to board meeting, but we, my wife took the dog out back. When I walk out back, I went, I went out to feed my fish. I feed my fish, okay? And, and I walk out there, and she talks to me. We have a golden retriever. We walk out there, and boom, immediately, bam, they're over there. Ruh, 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 ruh. And she, I guess she sits up in her palace in her master suite because she doesn't come down. And, and I've gotten to a point where I have to take pot lids and run over and bang on them so loud to get them to run. But I'm sick of it. Okay, and I just want to know. She is in violation of. Uh, so I have, you know, Christine's so. been working some. But I have the letter I sent to Christine. I want to leave you copies of the photos of all the non compliance things. What address is it? 